Alright guys, this is going to be the last video for week 37, but I just got off work and here's the conditions. It's currently 1041 and it's still 82 degrees outside, so really warm. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to go meet Greg and we're going to go out for some late night turtling. Alright guys, so this is my first nocturnal expedition with this new camera, so bear with me if the footage is a little sketchy. But uh, I'm hoping it'll turn out alright, I'm excited to test it out, and uh, actually this is the first nocturnal turtle expedition that I've done in a while, so I'm excited. Hopefully we'll see some turtles tonight, I'll keep you guys updated. Alright guys, I know it's going to be hard because of the running water, but here's our first find of the night. It's not an actual snake, but that right there, and also these right here, are all the shed skins of baby cottonmouths. And, uh, I don't see any baby cotton mouse around, but I'm going to check the area pretty well. But it's pretty cool to see that one gave birth here to uh, what looks like at least six babies. So I'm going to look around and see if I can find any of them. Alright guys, so right there is an adult cotton mouse. That is a fully grown adult. Probably another female that's about to have babies if I had to guess. I'm going to see if I can get a better look at her. Well, she slid down and she's going down in this crack now, but pretty cool. First snake of the night that we actually saw. So I'm just gonna let this girl go and keep looking. Well, that was an interesting start to the night. It kind of bummed me out to not actually see the baby cotton mouse, but it was cool to see evidence of them breeding right here. And um, it was cool to see that adult. I think that adult might have been mom, but it was hard to tell. It was hard to get a good look at her because she was stuffed back up under the roots and in that pipe. But uh, anyways, Greg's almost here, so I'm gonna go meet him and we're gonna hit a different spot. Try and make it out there? Yeah. I, I think it's shallow all the way so. Alright guys, here's our first turtle of the night. Greg just spotted this loggerhead. He's foraging here on the bottom. That's a big one. Nice. Good looking adult loggerhead musk turtle. First turtle of the night. We just got here, so we're going to get a couple photos of this guy and let him go and keep herping. Alright guys, next turtle of the night. Common musk turtle, aka stink pot. This is a pretty big individual. But Greg's got a logger head right here. You can see there, they're pretty different looking turtles. But we're gonna let these guys go and keep looking. It seems like turtle activity is pretty good tonight. Alright, guys, next logger head of the night. This one has a nice chunk taken out of the back of his shell. Let's see if I can come around so you can see this. Check that out. Greg said that's likely from another logger head musk turtle, which is pretty cool. Anyways, we're gonna let this guy go and keep looking. All right, Greg's got a nice looking slider here, I think. That soft shell got away, but we're hoping to get another shot at it here in a second. Fish hook in his mouth. Uh-oh. Oh, that sucks. Irresponsible fisherman. A lot of fishermen cut the line when they know they have a turtle on it instead of trying to actually get the hook out of the turtle's mouth. But we're gonna see what we can do to help this guy. So it looks like this string that was actually coming out is a second hook, and uh, Right here is the first hook. We got it out, a little bit of her came with it, but now she doesn't have to worry about this thing in her mouth, which means she should be able to feed better. This second hook looks like it's actually hooked to her skin, which is a good thing, I think, because it's I think not it's actually... going down her throat. Oh, is it? Yeah. Damn, that's even worse. But they turtles can sometimes pass hooks, so, yeah. I mean, it, it happens. It's, you know. it's not hooked on there. Yeah. Anyways, we were able to help this girl as much as we could by getting this hook out. But uh, we're just going to have to wish her the best of luck with that other one. We cut off as much of that excess fishing line as we could. And we're going to let her go and hopefully she'll be alright. Alright, good luck girl. Stay away from those fishermen. Uh, has to be a dozen of them by now. Another logger head. Lots of turtles out tonight. He does have a pretty face. Pretty cool. There's that loggerhead I just caught. Loggerhead. Right there is a stink pot. Is this the, the one on top, the one you were talking about? Look at that. Wow. Nice light face. The body's so light you can see the ribs through the shell. That's awesome. Alright, Greg just found our first river cooter of the night. Beautiful looking sub-adult. 
beautiful blue eyes on this guy. Anyways, we're going to get a couple photos of this guy. He was in a really deep section, so I couldn't get the, the NC2 recording. But pretty cool. We're going to let this guy go and keep looking. All right, guys, we are heading into our last spot of the night. Uh, the last couple spots we've hit have been real unproductive, but hopefully this one will turn stuff around. This is one of the best ones we have, so I'll keep you guys posted. Gonna get it down and gonna it up. That's a big tree frog. I'll grab it in a second. I just want to get some in situ video. It's a barking tree frog. Alright guys, here's another look at this barking tree frog I just found. These are the largest tree frog in North America, if I remember correctly. And definitely the largest we have here in Georgia. And this is the first one ever found in this county, which is really cool. I'm super excited about this guy. Definitely makes my night. Anyways, I'm going to get some quick voucher shots of him, and then we're going to keep harping. Alright guys, Greg has found our next find of the night. Assuming I can get over there without dying. Very treacherous. Nice. That's a big queen snake. Usually these guys are only about a foot long. Oh no, wow. A queen snake bite. They're also usually pretty docile. Not when I'm around. All right, Greg has a freaking soft shell over here. He got it. <laughs> there we go. We are on the board with big turtles. Nearly five in the morning and our first soft shell in hand. Look at that. I don't trip. Beautiful. There she goes. Not my toes, love. <laughs> this thing doesn't care. Just hanging out. That's awesome. I love it when you can just watch them and they're not constantly trying to get away. Anyways, that pretty much makes the night for big turtles, even if we don't see a snapper. That makes me happy. Alright guys, I am on my way home. It was a pretty successful night. You know, we didn't see an alligator snapper, didn't see anything too crazy, but that barking tree frog was freaking awesome. Uh, that was definitely the highlight of the night for me, along with the, uh, the big soft shell we caught. So I'm pretty happy with it. What I'll probably end up doing with this video is combining it with tomorrow night's video and make like a end of week 7 or week 37, beginning of week 38 video. Uh, tomorrow night I'm going to look for pygmy rattlesnakes in another new area, but this time in Alabama. So, oh, possum. <laughs> Alright, anyways, uh, thanks for watching and I will probably see you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, what is up? I'm currently grabbing some food and then I'm headed out to cruise for Carolina Pygmy Rattlesnakes and anything else I can find in Alabama. Um, I have no idea how tonight's gonna go. It's a new area for me, I've never hit it, so I will keep you guys updated and hopefully it's a pretty good night. Well, I'm at my road and my night just started in one of the worst ways imaginable. I just found a solid five foot DOR black king snake. That sucks. Black king snakes are awesome and they don't often get as big as eastern king snakes, so it's really strange to see one that big. Um, but now I've been here twice. Like, I've seen three snakes on this road. They've all been dead, and two have been black king snakes. So that's got to be a pretty good sign. So I'm going to keep cruising, and hopefully I'll see something else. All right, guys. First snake of the night that's alive is this freaking huge copperhead. This thing's massive. He does not want to stick around for photos, though. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> That thing was in a rush. Anyways, see if I can actually get closer to him now that he's down and thinks he's camouflaged, but that's a really big copperhead. And he does not want to sit for photos, so I'm gonna let him go on his way. Pretty cool to get our first snake of the night though, so I'm gonna keep cruising. Well, that is the wrong tiny rattlesnake, but that is still pretty cool. That right there is a juvenile timber rattlesnake. Newborn from this year. Hey there, little guy. This guy seems to be getting a little bit unhappy with me, so I'm going to make sure he gets off the road safely and keep cruising. 
There we go. Black king snake. Next snake of the night. Gorgeous little juvenile sub-adult black king snake. Got some nice eastern influence on this individual. He's got some pretty decent bands. Um, we are pretty close to the contact zone, so it's very possible this guy has a little eastern in him, and that would explain why that other black king snake we found earlier that had been hit by a car was so big. Um, but pretty cool. I'm going to get some photos of this guy real quick. Alright guys, well here's one more look at this little black king snake while he's sitting for photos. Pretty cool find. I love seeing king snakes, of course, anytime. They're welcome. Um, obviously I don't like these guys quite as much as eastern king snakes, but always an awesome find. I was hoping we'd see a live one tonight. And uh, night's made as far as I'm concerned, but I'm going to keep cruising and hopefully we'll see a pygmy. Alright guys, well I am officially on my way home. I'm taking back roads, you know, trying to explore a little bit on the way and uh, see what looks good around here since this is a largely new area for me. But anyways, thanks for watching. I think that's probably going to be it for tonight. Uh, kind of sucked that we only saw three snakes, but they were all really cool. You know, I was, I was very excited to see all those snakes. Um, and this will go in with the turtle video, so this will hopefully be a pretty eventful and enjoyable video. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys at least one more time in week 38, hopefully more than that. So I'll keep you guys updated.